How are you? Hope you all are doing well. In our previous class, we discussed regarding mass and capacity. Isn't it? Yes, we discussed regarding mass and capacity. Isn't it? Yes. Today, we are going to discuss regarding time and temperature. Time and temperature. Okay. Time and temperature. First, we are going to discuss regarding time. Look at the picture. What is this? Yes, it is a watch. We use watch or clock to measure time. Isn't it children? Yes, we use watch or clock to measure time. The unit for measuring time is second. The unit for measuring time is second. We measure time also in minutes and hours. Okay, we also measure time in minutes and hours. So, the unit for measuring time is second. Okay, second. The unit for measuring time is second. We also measure time in hours and minutes. Okay, in minutes and hours. We also measure time in minutes and hours. Okay. Children, one day equal to one day equal to 24 hours. Okay, one day equal to 24 hours. One day equal to 24 hours. And one hour equal to, yeah, 60 minutes. One hour equal to 60 minutes. One hour equal to 16 minutes. What about one minute? You know what about one minute? Yes, one minute equal to 60 seconds. Okay, one minute equal to 60 seconds. So, the unit for measuring time is second. One minute equal to 60 seconds. And we also measure time in hours and minutes. Okay, we also measure time in hours and minutes. Okay, children. So, the unit for measuring time is Second, second. Okay, children. I'll explain more about time with the help of a video. Okay. Children, how many hands are there in a glove? Yes, definitely it is three. Can we see the short head of this glove? Yes. The short hand reads hours. So it is called our hand. Okay, so it is called our hand. And can you see the long hand? Yes, it reads, the long hand reads minutes. So, it is called minutes hand. Okay, so what is this? Yes, the long hand. What is the long hand called? Minute hand. And can you see the thin hand? Yes, this thin hand reads second. So, it is called yeah, it is called second hand. Second hand. So, a clock or watch has three hands. Short hand, long hand and thin hand. Means hour hand, minute hand and second hand. Next is temperature. Temperature. Okay. What is temperature? Yes. The temperature is the measure of hotness or coldness of a body. Temperature is the measure of hardness or coldness of a body. Okay. The measure of hardness or coldness of a body is called temperature. Temperature. The unit of temperature is degree centigrade or Fahrenheit. Okay. The degree centigrade or Fahrenheit. Degree centigrade or Fahrenheit. Okay, that is the unit for measuring temperature. Unit for measuring temperature. Okay, how does the doctors take the temperature of your body? You know, how does the doctors check temperature of your body? Yes, the doctors check the temperature with the help of thermometer. Doctors check the body temperature with the help of thermometer. Doctors use clinical thermometer to check the temperature of the body. Okay, doctors use clinical thermometer to check the temperature of the body. Okay, so the temperature is measured in degree centigrade or 
Fahrenheit. Okay, degree centigrade or Fahrenheit. Okay, so the temperature is the measure of hotness or coldness of a body. Then our normal body temperature is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, normal human body temperature is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, 98.6 degree Fahrenheit is the normal human body temperature. Our normal human normal human body temperature is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, doctors nowadays the doctors use digital thermometer. This is digital thermometer. This is digital thermometer. Doctors use digital thermometer to check the temperature. Okay. Here. Here. In the, you can you see this area? Here you can see the temperature. Okay. This is a digital temperature. This is a digital. Sorry. This is a digital thermometer. Digital thermometer. Okay. So the temperature is measured with the help of thermometer thermometer the unit for measuring temperature is degree centigrade or fahrenheit okay children so i'm going to wind up the session okay we discussed regarding measure measuring things in this chapter we discussed regarding measuring things okay children thank you